Look, mateys, I spot new terms from Music Dictionary. Tab to position. Lower the anchor. Our first word is position. Like a lot of music terminology, position is also a non-music word. It means where something is, location. As a guitar and bass music term, position specifically refers to the location of your first finger on the neck. Quiz time. So what position is this chord in? Well, my first finger is located at the first fret, so we call this first position. How about this chord? Here, my first finger is on the third fret, so this is third position. Every position spans four frets, one finger per fret. In first position, finger one plays notes on the first fret. Finger two plays notes on the second fret. Finger three notes on the third fret, and finger four notes on the fourth fret. In third position, finger one plays notes on the third fret. And again, it's one finger per fret. Okay, cool. Now, here's a tricky one. What position am I playing now? Well, I'm playing the seventh fret, but I'm using my third finger. Remember, position always refers to your first finger's location. And we know every position has one finger per fret. Since my third finger is at the seventh fret, my second finger gets the sixth fret, my first finger gets the fifth fret. So this is actually in fifth position. Which brings us to our second music dictionary term, anchor. Anchors are how we show position on the Rocksmith Plus noteway. Here you see a span of four frets highlighted, from the 12th fret to the 15th. This is a 12th fret anchor, so you know you're playing in 12th position. Your first finger plays all the notes on the 12th fret, and then one finger per fret for notes above that. Now check it out. The highlighted line is telling us the anchor is about to shift. And the new anchor is now at the 11th fret. This 11th fret anchor means you're playing in 11th position, with one finger per fret up to the 14th. As you play your favorite songs in Rocksmith Plus, pay attention to the anchors. They'll keep you from floating adrift in the ocean of notes. Our last music dictionary word today is tab. Tab is short for tablature, which is a style of notation for guitar and bass, and a lot of string instruments like ukulele, mandolin, banjo, and others. Tablature has actually been around for hundreds of years. There are countless music books with tab, and you'll find a ton of tab all over the internet. And in Rocksmith Plus, we have RS tab, you can turn RS tab on and off by pausing a song and clicking on the RS tab icon. RS tab is similar to traditional tab, but interactive and optimized for an awesome Rocksmith Plus playing experience. The horizontal lines represent the strings on your guitar or bass, with the E string as the lowest line. Of course, the strings are color coded to match the exact colors you're used to on the noteway. Every note is represented with a number on the string, again, color-coded to match the noteway. The number is the fret. So this note is the ninth fret of the blue D string. This next note is the seventh fret of the orange G string. And this one is the eighth fret of the green B string. RS tab has a playback line that moves through the notes from left to right in perfect sync with the rhythm of the music so you know the exact timing for each note. And it scrolls automatically, so you never need to take your hand off your instrument to turn the page. Speaking of turning the page, it's time for us to wrap up. Today we learned position, the fret number where your first finger is located on the neck, anchor, which is how position is displayed in Rocksmith Plus, and tab, a guitar and bass notation system that uses lines and numbers to show you what string and fret to play. Be sure to check out RS Tab. Until next time, casting off.